Hi folks, this is Bart Valchak from creativeimpatience.com and this is the NAB special Adobe Video Reveal. Let me now show you the feature that Avid users have enjoyed for years and most likely have been laughing at us using Premiere because, well, Premiere didn't have it. If you used CS6 and before, if you had instead sequence with media like here, which is the way I personally like to work, then uh, if you did the editing, the standard editing, like play, in, out, and overwrite, then all that came in was the nested sequence. For many reasons this is not optimal and performance is one of them. What I want uh, really to do is I want to insert the clips from the sequence and now you can do it in Premiere as well. How to do it? Here's the magic switch. As you can see, I already have three video layers and four audio layers. This is because there are three and four uh, layers in the source sequence. So uh, I don't really care about audio here. I want to put the clips on layer two because let's say I want to conform or I want to do something else. I want to retain the effects. So let's uh, move the sources up here and let's deactivate the V3 because it will mess with the uh, adjustment layer even though the layer is not active, so let me now move to the beginning of the clip, hit F. The in point and out point are conveniently uh, set for us already, so uh, what I only need to do is I need to click overwrite. Then match frame overwrite, match frame overwrite, match frame overwrite. I don't even have to go into timeline and activate the timeline panel. Match frame works when the source monitor is active. So as you can see, it was very quick and it was very effective, and I really enjoy it. And if I if I wanted to do some effects, for example, here I want to overwrite. I can also do this. I can just do my standard editing here. So uh, it's not a problem. Uh, it it works great, and uh, the performance is really stellar. I'm going to show you now the multicam trick. If you have a nested sequence like this, that you only have a single layer of video med media and don't really care much about audio, and you want to put these clips back on the timeline because here is just a nested sequence, then it's, there is a very easy way to do it in CS Next. Basically what you do is you select the clips, you turn on the multicam, and you flatten the multicam. See? You have probably seen that the effect did not carry over, so if you have the effect, effects applied, then you have to do it uh, manually. Duplicate that, there's still not a shortcut for uh, duplication, these are duplicate frames indicators. And the same, multi-camera, enable, multi-camera, flatten, and let's see, let's turn off the names so that we can see here. There are effects, Control c to copy, Control alt v to paste, attributes. Let's say we just want to paste the attributes for, for the effects. Okay, and uh, warp stabilizer now. Okay, here the vignette. Control C, Control Alt V, vignette. Oh, by the way, my plugins work in CS Next. So, uh, if you want to do the quick job, to do a quick EDL conform or just bring back the clips from unnested sequences and the unnested sequences are not complicated, then the multicam trick will uh, save you quite a little bit of time. This is uh, the so-called camera roll in CS Next. I hope you will enjoy this feature as much as I already do and see you in the next sneak peek of Adobe CS Next.